First, a food service worker at Comerica Park arrested after a stomach turning video went viral. You saw that video first on 7. Now we're learning more about it from the co-worker who pushed the record button. He told 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore what happened when he sounded the alarm and why this may not be an isolated incident. You're right, that former employee has been arrested and the other employee that took the video says he was just trying to warn others. Because the moment he get to come out of the courtroom, I'm whooping his ass. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'd have ate some stuff that he didn't spit in. So I'm whooping his ass. It, 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 if you like he was cooking pizza. <laughs> if you from Detroit, you should be, everybody that ever went to a, and Comerica Park is, for people who don't know, that's the Detroit Tigers, their baseball stadium. <laughs> so if you've ever attended a baseball game, you should be at the courthouse ready to whoop his ass. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say anything? <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we got to the first video. So All right, we should first get video. to the first video. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, shit. Right, right. That's what I'm talking about. Look, Keep I'm it ready. Rolling, I'm God ready. Damn it. Keep it rolling. Get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Hey. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm hmm. First video. We got a 20 year old food service worker at Comerica Park in Detroit was charged with a felony count of food law. I don't even know what that is. You know, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know they even had that, but you know what? It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. First, a food service worker at Comerica Park arrested after a stomach turning video went viral. You saw that video first on seven. Now we're learning more about it from the co-worker who pushed the record button. He told seven action news reporter Bethany Moore what happened when he sounded the alarm and why this may not be an isolated incident. You're right, that former employee has been arrested, and the other employee that took the video says he was just trying to warn others. Quinnell May says when he heard what the other employee said he was going to do to the pizza on Friday, he was in shock. And I asked him, was he serious about that? Like, was he really going to spend the custom pizza? And he said, yeah, so I pulled out my phone to have proof just in case he did it. May said he tried to report it to his manager, but wasn't heard. So I went home and I posted the video to show people what was going on because they obviously didn't want to listen. I was going to stay after to go down and speak to the HR to not cause a scene in the stand, but they didn't want to listen to me. That video went viral on Facebook and Instagram. In a statement, Detroit Sports Service, the food and beverage providers at Comerica Park said they closed that food stand when they found out and got rid of the tampered with food. But May says that that employee says he spit in the food before. He said he's done it before, and he's been working there for three years or two or whatever he said. So it's no telling how many people probably looked over it. And I was just that one person to catch it and film it and turn it in. But May says even though he was trying to do the right thing, he was fired over the phone for posting the video. And you can see in this text message with his supervisor at the park, he was asked to take the video down. I'm disgusted at him for spending the pizza, and I'm also disgusted at Comerica Park for threatening to sue me for posting a video and exposing it when they should be worried about him spitting in the pizza. But Detroit Sports Service say he wasn't fired but has been suspended. And that, quote, no one acting in an official work capacity asked him to remove the video. The prosecutor's office is still reviewing the case for possible charges. Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. All right, Bethany. Oh, wow. How did... How they suspend him? Maybe they had. So this kind of yeah. sort of goes back to that whole thing that we had, like, you know, a couple sessions ago yeah. with that whole social media policy. A lot of these companies now are starting to implement social media policies. Like, literally, if he was to post something that can negatively impact his job. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And if he signs that, that's why he probably got in trouble. But, see, but the thing he said to me, but he went to them and they didn't do anything. So maybe he should have went above his immediate supervisor. That's probably what uh, he should Oh, like a did. GM or something like that? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, shit. Man. What, what's the little but boy's see, name? What's the boy that spit? Did they say his name? I don't know if they said his name. I don't know, but that, that stuff, it just turned my stomach. Listen, if I ever went to Comerica Park at any point and got something there, the, I'm, I'm following his case to the T. Because the moment he get to come out the courtroom, I'm whooping his ass. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'd have ate some stuff that he didn't spit in. So well, I'm whooping his ass. It, 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 if it you like he was cooking pizza. If you from Detroit, 
you should be everybody that ever went to a and Comerica Park is for people who don't know that's the Detroit Tigers their baseball stadium. <laughs> so if you've ever attended a baseball game, you should be at the courthouse ready to whoop his ass <laughs> soon as they give him bail or out of release him on his own recognizance or whatever. Oh. The moment he he step in the street, not on the court grounds, because you know, that might get that might right. get husky for you. Yeah. Right. As soon as he hit the street, man, you about to get charged. Yeah, man, might get little, that might get a little tight. <laughs> Knock his ass out, because that's just that one thing I don't I don't play with stuff like that. That's not a prank mm. to me. It's not funny Ooh. to me. Mm-mm. No, like that's. Dirty, but but peep it. Three years, he's been there for three years. That means he spit in he a been lot hawking, of right. food. He been hawking loogies all, <laughs> all oh just god. oh my god. Hey, wait, but now this thing. Look, I know at Citizen Bank Ballpark, home of the uh, Phillies. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You can see them making your food because it's wide open. Well, they need to do that every part. Yeah, but see, that looked a little wide open. But then again, he was like his back was turned. So right, I don't know. So I don't, I don't know, because we don't know like the whole makeup or how that whole. Ain't that some shit? I don't know, but just the just the fact of how. Oh oh my god! (laughs) See, that just that just reminds me on why I don't like eating fast food and why I just cook the hell at home. Oh my god! Because I know. (laughs) <laughs> how I cook my food and they taint it no kind yeah. of way. I mean, you I don't, don't have to that. worry about nobody's uh, dirty you fingers. Don't, you don't cook it with extra spit? Hell no. <laughs> before they bag your before they bag your chicken breast up, you never know who balls might have been on the diet. You never know. Uh, somebody just in there bagging up your, your chicken and putting it in the saran wrap. Okay. First of all, you never know. You Talk about it's halal. You, you gotta okay. clean your chicken all too. <laughs> Yeah, extra seasoning. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So look, let's go to the first comment. We go to the first comment. Yeah. Like CJ must like his chicken like that. Balls, yeah. damn. Yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pescatarian. Extra ballsy. <laughs> I <Balls. laughs> no. right, the first comment. So it says HR and management need to be fired. All of them. The whole fire, the whole park. If he, if that, if that young man is telling the truth, and I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. I used to work in HR, so I, I understand. If he went to his manager, his manager did nothing, and then HR didn't do anything. Yeah, fire all of them. They so all. So my did thing enough. is, is like, how did he know to record him at that particular time? Well, what well, he, he said, he told he him said that he was going to spit do it. in it, and he's like, "Oh, you're gonna do it? Oh, I'm gonna record it." Yeah, and he recorded it. Yeah, that's hey. nasty. Like, no. HR, get them out of there. Get a new HR. Yeah, that's major nasty. Yeah, but imagine and how, look, and imagine if somebody else is doing it and it just wasn't recorded. Imagine how many people well, is in well, that you know park what? that that go to the bathroom and don't wash their hands and then go back to the food. Well, you know what? Let me let me let me think about it. As many times as you ate out. How many times do you think someone spit in your food? Oh my god! I hope think not. about it. I don't want to think about. Damn, it. Damn, ain't that something to think about? No, it's not. Are you no, sure? No, I'm, I'm sure it's not I'm nothing to think about. Completely, absolutely sure. <laughs> no, I do not want to think about that. No. I mean, if you ever seen those, uh, them like investigative reports, just from the, the the restaurants downtown where they be having all the rats and all that running around. So I'm pretty sure you didn't probably have some some rat droppings in your, <laughs> in your risotto or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. this happened. Yeah. So okay. This is why I say, just in general, why you always treat people in the food industry with respect. Oh, you got yep. to. Because you, you never to. know. Will somebody look? Hey, okay, yep, you got it. You, you need some more time to cook. Yep, all right, I'll I'll sit. I'll stand right yeah, here. Right. People it's, be cracking me up how they be getting rude, yeah. ignorant with people that they got your food. They say customers oh. king in the in the hospitality industry. The chef is the king. <laughs> right. Take your time, play. Take your time. Exactly. Yeah, hey, I want to know. You want me to massage your, your, your back and neck while you uh, redo my food? <laughs> I need you to be relaxed. <laughs> so, look, second comment. So, second comment says, I hope this man gets rewarded somehow for exposing this <laughs> since the employer did nothing about it. Yeah, hopefully, somebody see him, you know, being a good Samaritan and try to get him a job so but but people though you know motherfuckers in the hood they will try to call him a snitch right? yeah, exactly because that's how i was just about to say yeah you know they try to you call know what him they're going to do say oh yeah why you do that but, yeah but that's just, people food yeah so his mother his mother raised him right if that was my son i would be proud of him well, yeah, give it to my man give yeah. it to my man where, where the yep. claps at for the young man yep. get the claps for him real yes. quick oh, yeah. oh, man. 
bear to you, young man. No, he ain't no damn bear. He's a miter. He wasn't no, no miter. 21. He's 21. 21. 21. He ain't no I'm damn miter. Playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> he got hair on what? the mustache and everything. Why are you trying to offer everybody an alcoholic beverage? Like, come on. Because everybody don't drink alcoholic beverages. It's better than offering hey. crack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't I, offer him no Gucci. You <laughs> offer them some water. I got some water for you. Man, nobody want no shit. damn water. <laughs> 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 All right, so, 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 so the third and last comment says, "This is why I don't go out to eat. I don't trust people." Yeah. See. And it, phew, yes, 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 yeah. That's why I came out to. I asked you again. How many? How many times that you think somebody's? Been I don't. I don't think about shit. it. So no, I haven't thought about it. Listen, I, and I don't want to think about it. Damn, yo, my, she tight. Well, my cousin. Uh, shout out to my cousin Doug. His birthday was yesterday, but when he oh, worked, big shout out to Cuz. He worked at Burger King. <clears throat> excuse me, and I remember them saying that like at the end of the night when people would come in with all kind of random stupid requests, I say if they wanted like ten burgers. They would take the burger, drop it in the mop bucket, and then what? put it what? put it on the grill. Oh. So I know, I know for a fact, oh, shit. stuff like that well, happens you know all what? the time. What goes around comes around. Oh. That's just ignorant. Hold on, bro. <laughs> That's they not would, even they funny. Would take, they would drop the burger in the they mop would, bucket. They would put the burger on the grill, get it hot, drop it in the in the, in the mop that water, is and put Why it. Why do you even water. think this funny? <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, you teenagers, you do dumb stuff. No, like, <laughs> no. That's just out of control. I ain't never going to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Look, both of my sons both worked at Burger King, and I know they, they probably didn't drop the burger no, in the bucket. No, because my sons are like me, like because they they clean like me. I guess because they ain't got no choice, because that's what they know. But my son, I got my especially my oldest son. He was like, Mom, I had to clean up after this person. That per-. at least I know my oldest son. My young, my youngest son. I don't, I don't put that. I don't put that by but, him. But you know, have you seen some of the videos that they be showing that the people be fighting the the workers and going at the drive through and the, yes, what? literally. I had to that, actually go. Yo. I actually I had to actually go to a Burger King one time because some people from another race call themselves being a little. You know, word. racist, right? With yeah. my son, what? Yeah, and I had to go and pick him up because they was in the drive through being ignorant. And then he said, "Mom, they sitting outside." I'm like, "Look, I don't need oh, you they was acting, outside waiting on him, acting a fool." Yeah, because my son, his temper it goes from like zero to like a hundred. He kind of sort of like me, like when I was younger, so yeah. I, and I got to tell him all the time, like, "Look, keep it, the, Mom, no, because blah blah blah." I, I, I'm like, "Look, chill, chill the hell out. I'll be there." No, and by the time I get there, like he outside, I'm like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Damn. I'm like, do you not realize you got to come back here to work tomorrow? <laughs> like, I can't come up Damn, here every at that, day. At that particular <laughs> moment, he don't give a flying. <laughs> 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 right, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Yeah, tell us what you're saying. Subscribe. Y'all this joint podcast. This joint.